Hello Janet. Um, so we are going to try out something like I told you to see if it is going to work. So if it works then we are going to continue with it. But I'm still working out on the I need to get a board and some markers I think which will bring out better presentations. So for now like I told you to send me the topics then you insisted that we start all over again. I, I thought maybe it would be better we can start with the algebra because it has got uh, the fundamentals that we need to determine uh, your levels of understanding and appreciation of the subject. So let's start with the basics in algebra. Okay. So algebra, we're going to look at the simplification of like and unlike terms. Uh, which is the fundamental found even in grade uh, 8 okay so let's see how do we simplify the like and unlike terms simplify the following simplify the following a okay, 4y plus y plus 3y okay so, when we look at this one, we are basically looking at like terms. Because when we uh, go through all these terms, this one is 4y, we've got y, then we've got 3y. So, these are like terms. So, like terms are simplifiable. We can work with them as they are. So, we are going to basically deal with the coefficients. Okay? Algebra is it's, 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 it's closely related with um, integers. So here, we are simply saying, like, what is the coefficient of uh, y for the, four, for the first term? It's 4. Then the second one, the coefficient is 1. The second one, the coefficient is 3. Okay? Then we can put our y outside. Then we work with these uh, characters or... Uh, digits that we have in the brackets we add them so when we add this you discover that we're going to get 8 then we bring y here so our answer is going to be 8 y okay then we can go to b on the same part of like terms we have negative 8x plus 5x minus 3x plus um, maybe 9 x okay so now here it's the same thing we need to work with the coefficients this letter which we call a variable really has no influence on our answers it will just be part of the final answer but we are dealing with the the coefficients these numbers before a letter these are the numbers that we call a coefficient so like for the first one the coefficient of x is negative 8 for the second one the coefficient of x is Five. The other one, it's negative three. So it goes on like that. So we're going to. It's like we're working with minus three plus nine brackets. Then we put our x there. Now, if you remember the idea, or if you still have some remembrance on the addition of. Uh, uh, integers with different signs for the first one here we've got negative 5 plus C I mean negative 8 plus 5 uh, these two have different signs so if you remember very well when it comes to integers we were saying when they when you're adding uh, two integers that have got two different signs what you have to do is you subtract the numerically smaller number from the numerically larger number meaning we don't consider their signs so in this case 8 is bigger than 5 so we're going to subtract 5 from 8 which is going to give us 3 then we say that number which you get is going to bear the sign of the numerically larger number in this case the numerically larger number is 8 so this it's going to be negative 3 Negative 3, we've dropped down that negative 3 plus 9. Then we bring our x. Now here, 
we've got negative 3 and negative 3. So this is just the same as negative 3 plus negative 3. Now, when we are adding integers of the same sign, what we are saying is that um, you have to add them and then keep the sign. Because they are both negatives. So even the answer will be negative. So we are going to have negative 6 plus 9. Negative 6 plus 9. If, it, if you apply the concept that we used here on negative 8 plus 5, you realize that the smaller number here is 6. So 6 has to be subtracted from 9, which will give us 3. Now this 3 should have the sign of a bigger number, which is 9. So it will be positive 3. And then you will get this one as your answer. So I'm just trying to work out something so that you can see what we are going to be doing. So uh, based on this, find it, let, let me give you also something that you can try to see if you have picked something from these ones. So you can try C, which is um, 3A plus 4A minus uh, 8A. Then this is the, supposed to be C. Then D, you work out with the 7xy, 7xy minus 9xy plus xy minus 3xy. So try out those.